Hi, I'm Robert with OS Training. We're happy to partner with InMotion Hosting to bring you this tutorial about maximizing your Drupal 8 site's performance. Thanks to InMotion also for providing the server space used in this series. As you probably know, Drupal is a very complex content management system. That basically goes hand in hand with it being such a powerful and versatile content management system. This power and versatility allows us to do awesome things with our websites, but one potential drawback is the performance hit that that power can result in. Whenever you load any given page on a Drupal site, there is a lot happening behind the scenes. First, your server receives the requested URL from the browser. Then essentially, your file system and PHP talk to the database to see if your site has a page set up at that matching alias, at that URL in other words. Then it pulls the information from that node, finds the correct template your theme wants to use to display the information, and fills in the corresponding information into the template. Also, during all of this, it's checking your modules to see if it needs to alter its behavior based on any module settings. Once it has all of that information ready, it hands the final HTML page back to the server, along with whatever CSS and JavaScript files are necessary for the information to be styled properly. Then the server delivers everything to the browser that requested the page in the first place. That is a lot going on, and I may be old-fashioned, but I still find myself amazed at times that Drupal, or really any modern content management system, can do all of this as fast as it does. Fortunately, those behind the development of Drupal, and especially Drupal 8, have done a lot of work to make sure this process is as fast as possible. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at what some of these performance boosting features are, and what some of our own options are to improve the performance of our Drupal site. 